there, I'm Angela. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. And today I have a few vintage patterns to share with you guys. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Now, before we jump right in, I have a little bit of an interesting backstory to share with you guys on just why I went out looking for vintage patterns when I'm supposed to be on a self-imposed fabric and pattern buying diet, so to speak. So recently I posted a video talking about a pair of pants that I'm making and one of my viewers uh, commented that one of her TNT pants patterns is Simplicity 1783. And she sounded um, like it was such a good pattern and convinced me. So of course I went looking for it because I feel like that's the best recommendation uh, for anything really, whether um, it's a plumber, a sewing pattern or whatever you're looking for. If you get good recommendations from people who have actually tried it, that's as good as it gets. So I did find a few copies here and there of the 1783 and I thought it looked good, but what I even loved more than the pants was the top selections that came with it. So I'm gonna start out with that one, but I just thought I would share that with you guys. And I would mention her name, but I'm not sure if she would be okay with that. So we'll just leave it as a kind viewer gave me that recommendation. So let's jump right in. This is the pattern here. It's a Simplicity. The designer is Cynthia Rowley. It's um, 1783. And it does come with a skirt, like a short skirt, a pair of pants, and two tops. I loved the shaping on the tops. And if the pants recommendation had not been like enough already, the tops have sold me. I'll bring it in a little closer for you. Aren't those the cutest little tops there? And when I replied to the viewer's comment that the, uh, the pattern looked good and the tops also looked really good, she also commented that the tops were good, in fact. So like sold. <laughs> So I got this, I got it on Etsy. I'll show you the line drawings here. Kind of what you would expect. They do look very comfortable. I'll show you the front one more time. And comfort and casual are like right in my wheelhouse when it comes to clothes. Not just lately because of the pandemic, but like always and forever, you would ever rarely find me dressed up. Uh, there are a lot of fabric selections available, fabric uh, recommended suggestions. That's what I'm trying to say. I can read them out to you. So for the tops, crepe, crepe back satin, crepe de chine, laundered silk rayons, double georgette. And for the pants and the skirt, pinwell corduroy, pique poplin, twill, velveteen, Sateen, brocade, satin, shantung, and velvet, linen, and linen blends. So that's pretty versatile. I think I could do a lot with, with this. And that kind of leads me into a little bit of a tangent here. Uh, I do hope to purge a lot of my fabrics, some fabrics that I've had forever. What I, let me back up even further. What I would really like to do soon is a studio tour. I personally love looking at studio tours on YouTube. It just makes me so happy to see other sewists and crafter studios and I get so inspired and like in admiration of how everyone has crafted their studio to be very functional and especially if they can make it look very pretty on top of being functional. That is like candy to me. I love that so much. So I thought it's only fair if I do a studio tour. So that's coming soon. But in order to show you guys like my whole studio, I feel like I have a little bit of cleaning up to do, especially when it comes to all my fabrics. So in order to get my studio in a condition where I'm comfortable showing it, what I would like to do is a couple of videos where I go through all my fabrics with you guys and sort, uh, evaluate everything, decide what I can donate, what I'm going to keep. Yeah, so let me know what you think about that, but uh, let's get back to the patterns. Oh, and I'll give you the dates of these patterns. So 1783 was published in 2012. So fairly 
really old, but not, you know, what I would call like truly vintage old. What is that, 10 years ago? That's kind of old, but it's not, it's not that old. Maybe I've lived too long to say that that's not too old. Phew, anyway. Next up, and these do all happen to be simplicity. I wasn't looking specifically for simplicity, but what I did after I found the 1783, I was already in that seller's shop. So I kind of poked around figuring if I was going to pay shipping that I should probably go ahead and get a couple of other patterns and make the shipping worth it. So the next one is simplicity 5996. And when I talked about that, I love casual and comfy this right here pretty much exemplifies what you will find me in on an average summer day. A sleeveless top and a pair of capri pants. Although the capri pants I usually usually wear tend to be more along the lines of cargo pants because I love pockets. But you could easily add pockets to these pants. And when I saw that, it just screamed like my style. So I had to get that. And I'll show you the line drawings, and if this doesn't just scream simplicity, nothing does. <laughs> How is that for simple in a pattern? That's it. You get the two options. You get one top and one pair of pants. Very basic, simple, but I love it. Uh, let's see, what are the fabrics? So for the top and the pants, gingham, laundered cottons, batiks, lightweight denim, madras, pique, poplin, seersucker, linen and linen blends. And the only notion is thread <laughs> like this. Easy to make, easy to wear. That's the, my two, sometimes my two criteria if I'm looking for something to make. Is it easy to make and easy to wear? And this pattern was published in, oh my goodness, I can't read that. The print is so tiny. Yeah, I, that's a, like another indication I've been around for a while. I will put this under a magnifying glass and post it up here. Ah, hmm, sad, sad, sad. Yeah, I can't read that. Show you guys how tiny the print is. Tiny, tiny. There's a lot of print there, and I know that the copyright is in there somewhere. Okay, let's look at the third pattern. Also another simplicity. It's 1852, and another one that's very simple. It just comes with a pair of shorts and a pair of pants. Top is not included in this pattern. And I'll show you the line drawings there. And with this one, it does come with pockets. Is one of the things that sold me about this, besides the fact that it, they look very loose and comfy casual, yeah, they've got nice pockets. And for fabrics, it just says soft cottons, linens, batik, and chambray. Notions, thread. So when they say it's so easy, it's simplicity, they're not kidding. Maybe these are meant to be for like beginner, doesn't matter to me. I love it, I think it looks very comfy. The one thing that struck me though that I will change when I make this is to raise the waistline on that. I, um, I think that sits a little low for my comfort level, I like my pants and skirts to pretty much sit at my natural waistline. So I would raise that, which would not be an issue. And I'm guessing that, yeah, these are drawstring because no elastic. So yeah, what do you guys think about those? If you have any tried and true like uh, easy breezy summer pants patterns or shorts, let me know. I do not have very many shorts, period. Maybe two or three pairs, not very many. Uh, it's that whole like burying my legs thing that I'm not real comfortable with, but I need to get over that. So that's one thing that I'm working on. And I think finding like great pairs of shorts would help with that. Um, so if you have any TNT shorts patterns, put it in the comments below if you wouldn't mind. I would appreciate that. and um, We could all help each other find great patterns. 
So that's about it for today. Just a pretty short one to share that with you guys and hope you'll join me this weekend for Friday Sews. I'm really going to shoot to get this video out on Friday. I know I keep saying that, but it looks like I should be able to this week. There's not too much going on for the rest of the week or the weekend. So my goal is to get it posted on Friday evening um, and do the live chat with you guys. So that would be a lot of fun. Either way, tomorrow night or Friday morning, I'll post whether that's gonna happen or not and what you can expect. So uh, keep your eyes on the community page for the channel because that's usually where I post any kind of announcements. You can find any updates, communications there. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll look to talk to you guys in the comments. And until next time, bye.